right, homies. So I have to literally show you this. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Cecil here, bringing you guys a video here today. Bring you guys a very cool illustrated tour how to create your own very cool. I don't know. I'm gonna call it uh, like some like crystallized random facets, random abstract uh, objects. Now I gotta give credit where credit is due. Um, I found out the whole transform sort of thing. It's like not. It's what I wouldn't say it's hidden, but it's something I haven't explored yet. Right in the, in the effects tab. Um, where is it at effects? Um, to start and transform and the actual transform actual little effect right i got it from quezzy now if you guys don't know what that name is that's a name that also started around where seso hq myself uh started and uh yeah he just hasn't had the same light as me so please go drop him a freaking subscription because this has to be the coolest thing for just like stocks backings in general that i've seen for myself in a very long time like i'm actually like i'm genuinely excited uh to show you guys how this thing works and how cool like look like look at these things right this is pretty pretty bare bones right um something like this is really cool too like i can just imagine like a very cool like dark black like or dark black um like a black to white gradient with like you know heavily going toward black with like a multiply dudes oh my goodness like how do you not get excited like literally if i were to like i actually have one right here like right on the background here is actually one of the stocks that i used um and made an illustrator right and uh, this actual little black part here is also with the stock, but I just use a liquify tool in order to give myself like a really nice sort of like curvature and uh, also looks really good. Um, like seriously, if I can just, I can just drag this in here into inside, inside Photoshop, right? And I can get some super like, come on, dude. You know how many tutorials I can probably do? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm genuinely excited because it's actually super cool to me. And uh, let me show you guys uh, how it works really quick, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer. Now this pretty much works with paths. So if you wanted to go ahead and use a circle, like I'll just start off with a circle just to show you guys. Um, your stroke tab should probably be up. If you guys don't have it up, it's under windows and it's under stroke. And uh, we're just gonna line the stroke and toward the, uh, the inside. Now, <clears throat> I think for this to work best for you guys, keep this in mind. I'm in a, I believe, let me check. I actually don't, I forgot kind of. Um, it is 3,000 by 1,500 uh, points, right? That's the document size that I'm in. Now, to keep this like super, super good and super easy and super easy to move in and out of Photoshop without having any tr any trouble, because um, with this like uh, effect, right? Excuse me. If this were to um, like expand too far out, it would be, it wouldn't be able to be moved. Um, things like you don't want to go outside this canvas here, and it's very easy to do. It's very easy to get carried away if you're not paying attention to the outsides. Keep that in mind. Um, so I would say work with very, very small shapes, right? So I'm gonna shrink this down pretty, pretty, like, pretty, like, like farther down, um, farther down, shorter, you know, low in, lower in diameter kind of thing. Um, but we're just gonna take the width. So for me, 20 or so should be a pretty thick, um, stroke still, right? So if I zoom out, you'll see it's pretty, uh, small in the actual canvas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this now. And we're gonna go to, uh, effect. Uh, distort and transform and transform just like so now make sure you guys put on your preview just like so right now one thing I did start off with was using 20 um, 20 copies here right you see this here if I just mess around the scale and the uh, vertical scale a little bit you'll start to see like dude <laughs> I'm actually like <laughs> look how cool that looks like I'm actually I'm genuinely I'm genuinely like like what the f like come on dude i'm gonna put this up for a second let's put this to like 60 60 copies let's m mess around with this uh angle a little bit now right like you can see how many cool different things like is gonna happen like if i zoom out i can't zoom out quite yet because i'm in this table so i'm gonna zoom out like this first and then i'll come back in here let's go ahead and go to transform <clears throat> preview 50 52 copies so you can see what's happening on the outside as well like it's in same okay now um just in case yours does not look like mine make sure you only have your stroke on right like my stroke is on if i put my actual fill on as well and if i put this effect on it'll still work right but you won't be able to see the way you kind of probably want it to be seen unless you want to do something like this it wouldn't look probably that great in my opinion i would definitely want to use a turned off fill right and then a cool gradient color so i have for me i have purple to yellow uh pink to blue uh, blue to purple those are really good colors to probably go and work with like dudes I'm like I seriously oh my goodness like I seriously think it's a super cool now I can go up to like a hundred if I want to not a thousand relax we want to break our illustrator 
Um, <laughs> like, you get some ridiculous... This is literally like a... How do you call it? Like, one of those... This is literally... I'm literally so happy. Um... This is like one of those random generators that you would probably really want. So like something like this, uh, can't finish previewing. That's because the vertical and the uh, the horizontal is actually I went a little bit too diff like too hard, right? So like I said before, remember I was like, if it goes outside the canvas, it's gonna do something like this, and it's gonna turn on um, your uh, how do you call it your uh, outline like shortcut. If you guys are not like see right, this right now, it, you still have everything open, everything's still on. You're like, why is my stroke on or my fill on, and I can't see anything? It's in outline mode. To get out of that, it's Control Y on your keyboard. Just so you guys know. Now, uh, yeah, like I said before, you can use more than just a circle. You can use um, virtually any shape in here. Just make sure you have a stroke on, right? Now, I, you can even use a pen tool if I wanted to. If I wanted a pen tool like the most randomest shape ever. It'll probably still come out with a really cool look. I'm just gonna do that, right? I'm gonna shrink this down though. Like I said before, make sure you have it on a fairly small canvas. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this effect. We're gonna go to distort and transform. We're gonna go to transform just like so. Preview. Now there's more things I didn't actually tell you guys yet, however. So now that I'm messing around my angle. I'm messing around with this for a second to see, right? See this stuff here. This is just getting a little bit wild, but it still works. I'm just gonna mess around with this, see if we can get a really cool look. Um I mean, this is a bit wild, right? But keep this in mind as well. Now, there's other ways to make really cool and different kind of, uh, I guess you would say, approaches to it. Like, right here over here is like the, uh, I believe it's like the, I don't know what the actual term is, but basically imagine it as like positioning, right? Where position where the effect would be applied to um, from where your creation was, I guess, in the center, right? This is the center, right? But now we're going to apply the uh, effect towards the bottom, right? Bottom middle, uh, bottom left. You can get some really cool different looks to it. This shape right here is definitely not my favorite. Um, but I was just at least showing you guys that it's possible. Uh, let's just use this shape for now. And I'm going to show you my stroke settings for a second because it's going to be coming in handy in a second. If I go to preview again, let's put it on 100 copies again. That's perfectly fine. Now let's just try it someone like this, right? Let's just go ahead and do something like this a little bit. Let's drop this down i would very carefully use your horizontal and your verticals by like one percentage by the way you're, you're seeing how it's working for me um but you can see how you can get different looks if i just go around this uh ooh, wow that's really nice as well like whoa 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 that's super cool so okay now that i have this here i think this is a really good one to kind of show you guys off of now um it also matters where your stroke is actually aligned mine right now is aligned in the center if i were to put it in this uh, the inside You'll see that actually fills a lot of this space in, and that one's so cool. I'm gonna save this one, <laughs> your boy. Let's go ahead and save that one. Um, a lot of these are so so cool, right? This is the inside. This is the outside now, and uh, you just get different looks no matter where you go. There's like there's legitimately so much to do with this. Now for the inside, if you run the inside here, let's just say you had a, a shorter stroke width, like something like this, or something like this, or something like this, or whatever, and you're like you want it to kind of be more filled, just up your width. You saw me just now, right? The stroke size for this right now without the actual setting is pretty much like this right here. But if I just put this up more, just enough so it actually starts filling the outsides, you can get some really cool looks. It's still not filled in the inside here. So I'd probably just even continuously drop it in, right? Just enough to get something like this, right? I think that would look pretty ideal. Um, Yeah, I'm not gonna kid you guys. This is super, super, super cool. Super fun in my opinion to keep just try out, to just know. And uh, keep this in mind as well, just because it's kind of like done in your eyes, right? You can still change the colors. So if you wanted to go in here, uh, your, excuse me, let's go to our stroke. Let's go to our gradient. Let's go to our blue. Change this to like pink. <sighs> Look at that. Um, let's change this to like purple, right? It gets some pretty cool looks to it. Now we can invert them as well to kind of see what they would look like. And I guess it doesn't change it. Nope, I just didn't highlight it. All right, that's definitely not the way to go there but let this is purple is any like darker um something like that that probably look pretty cool too now let me show you guys really quickly what i would do in photoshop to kind of like help you guys out uh let's just take <laughs> some of these are really freaking cool let's just take this one for an example this is pretty basic this is only has like five or six copies um like the other ones i showed you guys previously was more like you know 20 copies if i just drag this into um photoshop just like so Right, I can make this fairly big, right? Now, what I can go ahead and do is you can use this as really cool, um, like the ones before would probably be better for like an actual standard backing. But to do something like this, how I did in the background here, all I really did was went to filter, um, 
uh, liquefy, just like so. I believe my brush settings are fairly big for the actual thing that I want. So I'm going to put it on 2000 to kind of give you guys a, a good measure. Pressure 75, um, density 100, and all that other stuff is basically default. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like, go like, just kind of move in like an angle. My mouse is kind of like going in like a kind of a, cur like a, what is it called? A crescent moon, right? And uh, kind of get some like this. And if it doesn't work out, kind of restore it all and then figure it out again. Um, if you need to, if you're finding you're moving a little bit too much, for this one, I'm going to just drop this out on 1,500 and kind of try again. Like that right there was a pretty good, like, look to it. I had a pretty good one, but uh, it's quite not there if I just drop this down like 1100. Zero, zero. Let's see what this looks like. See, this is a little bit better. We're starting to grab what I kind of want to grab, right? Um, let's just restore all again. So it's kind of like a rinse and repeat kind of thing. As you're seeing, I'm trying to figure out what's going to give me the best grab, right? I'm also using this first, uh, forward wrap tool. And, uh, this is not a bad look right here. I'm looking at is right here. If that wouldn't be bad. If I just pressed okay for a second, right? If I would just put this over here in this corner. And if I really wanted to, to kind of like, I, what I actually did was I actually quick selected it with the, uh, what do you call this? The quick selection tool. Um, and I just kind of used that, right? And I kind of just said, I want all this gone. But let's go ahead and select the inverse, mask the rest of that, right? <clears throat> you kind of have this now, right? And then you can just use a very simple gradient, black and white. Now, I'm not like, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to teach you guys how to make a head or anything like that, but just sort of like teaching you guys really cool ways to make your own very nice, really nice stocks. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, oh, by the way, black and white would probably not be the best. What I actually use, if I have this gradient saved still, um, right here. Nice. I have like a very like metally kind of texture for this. So for the gradients, you guys know, you guys can have it as well. The hex code for the first left side of the shadows is 181A1F. And the right side would just be simple old white. I believe it's just uh, pure white. Nice. It is pure white, not an offset. And uh, that looks like a, almost like a metalish tone. Very, very, very cool. Now, hopefully you guys understand like the whole gist of it. Like I know my excitement kind of carried away in this video, but I'm truly excited because I do, you know, packs, brush stocks. Like this is just another, uh, uh, I guess, movement towards just kind of figuring something out, you know, kind of like introducing you guys something different. And uh, like I straight up, gonna, like I said, I got the idea from uh, Quezzy, Jesus Christ. And uh, like I put his link in the description. I really think you guys should go like follow him up. Just like look at his stuff. If you guys liked a lot of my older stuff as well, I truly believe that you guys would really like uh, that guy as well because he still does like Sim 40 tutorials, stuff that would like be like my like, old, you know, unknown tutorials. If you guys remember that series, I don't know. You might not, not a lot of you guys are still around for that. Um, but uh, yeah, dudes, super, super, super awesome. Like I said again, it's in the effects tab, distort and transform and transform. It's super, super cool. Have a lot of fun with it. I would love to see your own like sort of uh, settings or whatnot or what you kind of created out of it and really honestly as well put some pretty cool gradients in the uh, in my Twitter or something like that or in my Discord. Um, straight up, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial today. Uh, I just think I just think this is so cool. There's no way to not think this is cool and just see endless opportunity kind of helping you guys out making very, very nice backings with you know, not just, you know, Google stock, but something like you make yourself. I just feel like there's something about that that just makes just, I don't know, this entire process super fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's tour. Like I said before, um, two likes on the video, you can stick it down below, which most likely be, I'm going to just kind of ruin it, but it's going to be like, you know, a couple of my favorite ones, like something like this, and a nice little pack for you guys, for you guys to go ahead and use and go for, and I'll put some gradients in there as well to kind of take from and get some ideas from. So, don't forget to leave a like on the video, share it around, all that cool stuff. Talk to you guys later. So that's my HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay as productive as possible. Um, much love to you guys. Uh, talk to you guys later. So that's my HQ out. Peace. I am way too excited.